Welcome to the 30 day static standing balance challenge. Let's jump in and get started. Welcome to day 29. Can you believe it? 29 out of 30 and yet you are still here. You are determined to focus and challenge yourself with your balance. That is fantastic and you're amazing for being here. As always, we start with that setup. Or you have a chair, you have a walker, whatever you have in front of you. Back it up into your balance station. Touch your boundaries. Safety first. Take your walker, your chair, small step forwards. You are one and a half to two inches away from your boundaries on all sides. Number one, establishing our default position. All right, you just established your boundaries. We let go and we pay attention to our weight shift. Pay attention. Are you on your heels? Are you on your toes? Are you shifting to one side? You're on the mud. Let those footprints sink. For 30 seconds, let them sink on evenly on all sides. Fantastic job. Number two, our ice cream cones. Okay, our body is straight. We are doing our circle. Weight shift is on the right, heels, left, toes. Our body is straight. We're making a circle. All right, stop. Hold that position. A reverse, okay? If this is getting super easy for you, close your eyes but really focus on the weight shift, okay? Stop, hold that position. Reverse. We are challenging our ankle strength. That is 100% necessary for balance. It's not good for balance, it's necessary. Stop, hold that position. Reverse. Very, very, very good. Ooh, hold that position. Reverse. If it's awkward, don't worry, just keep trying. Stop, hold that position. Reverse. Challenging those ankles. Hold that position, stop. Reverse. Stop, hold that position. Fantastic job. Number three, some horizontal head turns with start stops. So feel your boundaries for safety. We know we always do that. Okay, at a medium pace. Okay, not fast, not slow. Just do some head turns left and right. Looking right, left, right, left. When I say stop, hold that position, okay? All right, head turns, nice, steady pace at your own pace. Whatever is not fast, but not slow. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop, hold that position. Start, stop, hold that position, start. Very good. Now vertical head turns. Remember, a little bit of dizziness is okay. Moderate to severe, please stop. Hold on. Okay, safety first. All right, up and down at a moderate pace, not fast, not slow. Stop, hold that position. 
start. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop, hold that position. Fantastic job. Number four, feet together. Okay, you have your chair, your walker. Use it to bring your feet close. Remember, kind of feel your boundaries, reset. Make sure you're pretty close with your boundaries. Okay, one minute holding this position. If it's getting easy for you, close your eyes. Beautiful, fantastic job. Number five, rapid alternating movements. This is good for our coordination. All right, hold your chair, your walker, bring your feet apart again, about hip width. Feel your boundaries, reset until you're back to a safe position. You're doing so good, okay? This is for our coordination, brain, body, cerebellum, challenging that cerebellum, okay? So you're gonna put your right palm, um, palm facing up in front of you, your hand. You're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna press your left palm down, up, down, up as fast as you can. This is a rapid alternating movement for the cerebellum, which is responsible to help us with our coordination. Very important. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds, all right? Here you go, as fast as you can. Palm down, palm up, as fast as you can. Not easy, coordination, okay? Cerebellum, coordination, try your best. Oh, great job. We're gonna switch, all right? Um, left hand facing up, right hand alternates between hand down or palm down. Palm up, down and up, okay? All right, 30 seconds as fast as you can. Let's go. One side is probably gonna be better than the other, okay? That's insightful for you. Maybe practice this on your own. It's good for the cerebellum. Beautiful. Was that difficult? Maybe I would recommend practicing it for the brain. Fantastic job. Number six, gaze stabilization, a staple for our balance, okay? Brain body stuff. All right, hold up that target or keep your eyes fixated on a target in front of you, but we're going to be doing head turns up and down today. All right, so Either turn your thumb sideways or fixate on a target. Eyes are fixed, head is turning up and down. Eyes are fixed, head is turning, let's go.
Oh, fantastic job. That was not easy, but so good for us. Number seven, our deep breathing. This is very important for our balance. A lot of times if people have a spill or a fall, it really increases their anxiety and it can actually impair their balance after that. Um, so we really need to practice our deep breathing. Now, if this is easy for you, close your eyes while you do it. So our hands are gonna be down and we're gonna be breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're gonna go slow with those hands. You can close your eyes if you want. One minute of beautiful deep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Nose, mouth, nose, mouth, nose. Mouth. Nose. Mouth. Nose. Mouth. One more. Nose. And mouth. Fantastic job. Number eight, hula hooping. All right. Take your chair, your walker. You're going to step forward just a little bit so that we have room for that butt. Okay. But we still need those boundaries close. All right. Maybe four inches away. All right. A hula hoop. It's a, it's a game where you have a hoop around you and you move your hips to move the hoop. Okay. So we're think of hula dancing. All right. So you're going to stick your butt back, a hip hinge. Your butt goes to the left, or I should say your hips. Hips go forwards to the right and back. All right, this is good for our hip strategies. All right, so go ahead and just make that circle with me. All right, stop, hold that position. Reverse around. This is great for those hips. All right, stop, hold that position, reverse, the other way, stop, hold that position, reverse, stop, hold that position, reverse, Stop, hold that position, reverse. Stop, hold your position, reverse. Stop, hold your position, reverse. Stop. Hold your position. Oh, fantastic job. Number nine, our shift and lift and an optional head turn, okay? So all the weight, bring it to your left side and then lift your right heel. That's your shift and your lift. Now, if you wanna add a head turn, turn your head over to the left side. Okay, hold that position. All right, you know what we're doing with the legs, shift center. Shift to the right, lift the left leg. And then if you wanna add the head turn, look to the right. All right, so at your own pace, shift, lift, and if you wanna add the head turn, look over that direction. Your own pace, okay? Just try to hold it for maybe a second at the end.
fantastic job. Number 10, blacking face. If this is getting easy for you, close your eyes. More lateral weight shifting, okay? All the weight, bring it to your left leg. Left arm is up, palm is on the forehead, elbow is back. Right arm is facing towards the belly, okay? Bring that left arm back, good posture. You can either close your eyes or lift your right heel. Hold this position. Shift the weight center, start to switch your arms. Weight goes on the right, elbow is back. If you want, you can lift the left heel. Either that or close your eyes. All right, shift to center, left leg, shift, shift, shift. Optional, lift the opposite heel. Back to center, arms are switching, right arm is on top. Good posture, keep that right elbow back, posture. Back to center. Weight is on the left now. Optional heel lift, optional eyes closed. Keep your left elbow back. Shift to center, to the right side. This is a modified Tai Chi proprioceptive exercise. Weight comes to center, to the left side. center to the right side. Center to the left. Center to the right. Pay attention to the weight shift. What does it feel like to shift your weight? Center to the left. Remember to keep that left elbow back. Posture. Good posture. Center. Switch to the right. Posture and balance. Center. Shift to the left. Center, last one, shift to the right. Center, fantastic job. Congratulations for finishing day 29. Oh my goodness, you only have one more to go. Really, really working on that ankle strength. It's got to be strong to maintain our balance our brain's ability to integrate all of that sensory information. So important for our balance. Be so proud of yourself for coming back. I know if you're here on day 29, you're gonna come back. You're gonna finish this with me. So come on back, day 30, little steps together. We can make some big gains.